Los Angeles, you're on the air. Hello? Yeah, hi. Hi. No, what are you stack the deck all women? No, I'm not stacking the deck. <laughs> According to the newspapers, no women listen to this show. <laughs> Meanwhile, the ratings indicate something else. Women Hello? love me. <laughs> you're the I know you're getting a lot of women callers today. That's surprising. Women are in love with you today. You know, I once had a program director who uh, scolded me. This is why I'm sick of radio. I, I went through so much in radio, I just can't even begin to tell you. They never wanted me to take phone calls because they did research that said that uh, rock, uh, in rock radio, if you hear uh, phone calls mixed in with music, it'll be a disaster. So when I started doing it, they all tried to stop me from doing it. I tell you, program directors are the lamest. They all think they know what's going on. Meanwhile, they don't know a thing in the world. So when I started doing this show, I had a program director who came to me and said, don't take so many female callers. I just was plunking down the phones. The guy said, don't take female callers. It makes you sound wimpy. <laughs> This guy was my boss, and I was just starting in radio. So what was I going to do? I just, but I said to him, listen, okay, I won't take so many female calls. And I just, I just did whatever I did anyway. You just would say, okay, okay, no problem. You, if you sat there and argued, you'd never get anything done. You just do it anyway. Then the guy comes back and he says it again. And you know what? These program directors, they forget what they said anyway. They don't even remember the edict they issued. And later on, it becomes their idea. Right. Yeah. Anyway, what can I do for you? Um, I was wondering, I had an idea that maybe you could do a lesbian dating game and uh, have the girls from your pay-per-view special, the bug girl, on there for the contestant. You are like you her? A, are you a lesbian? Um, bisexual. Now, a lot of people told me that uh, putting... I read about 20 reviews of the pay-per-view special. They said putting the bug lady on was um, way out of line. Yeah. Which I, I think she'd be good because she'd ask some really different questions, that's for sure. She's definitely different. You would like to make love to her? Mm-hmm, Definitely. I don't know if she goes that way. Well, you don't think so? Now, I see, don't know. There was a young lady who almost dropped out of the contest because she didn't think she had a chance. And look at how much publicity she got out yeah, of it. Yeah, the bug lady was she really was down. She really a standout. I turned to her. I said, I think you could win. I said, well, who's, who's to say who's going to win this contest and for what reason? She's no, all these girls are so beautiful. Yeah. And all I do is eat bugs and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you get a real good view of her tattoos backstage because she's, you know... Yeah, I see, I've seen her in a, a tattoo order, did, magazine. Did you order the that. backstage uh, tape? No, I haven't. A friend of mine uh, ordered it. I'm waiting for it to come. Don't you want your own tape and poster? I'm yeah, telling you, it's gonna, I'm, I think it's going to go up in value. I really do. You're going to miss the poster you keep waiting uh, around. Yeah. I'm broke. I can't afford it right now. Why is everybody broke? If you'd said it was an economic crisis. Yeah, but I'm stuck in an economic crisis. No. That's my problem. Go listen to another station. <laughs> Can't you turn a trick? It'll take you two seconds. Oh, you. And then you'll have enough money to buy everything. Oh, turn really? Go, how do you look? Are you good looking? Of course. Yeah, what do you look like? I'm five, nine and a half, and I have blonde hair and green eyes. And I'm slender. Who's that guy back there? That's my friend, next door neighbor, as a matter of fact. Did you get it on with him? No. You're five foot nine. His cousin, but not him. You're five foot nine, you're blonde. Mm hmm. You can't get a man to support you? No, I don't want a man to support me. I'm self sufficient. How old are you? Twenty three. And you're five foot nine, you're blonde. Who do you look mm -hmm. like facially? Hmm. I don't know. People tell me that I look like um Daryl Hannah a lot. That's not so bad. Why it's spelling that and sometimes people tell me I look like Julia Roberts, which is funny because neither one of them look like each other. Yeah, I can see that. You can't see anything. <laughs> well, come on. You know what's going on over here. Just let me mellow out with this girl, all right? Give me a break. I've had a tough day. Sex. I'm working on some phone sex here. And you're... So you... people tell you you look like Julia Roberts? See, I can work better with that than Daryl Hannah. She's got kind of a horse face to me. I know. I think she kind of looks like a horse, too. What, what, size, what size cup are you? 36C. Natural? Mm-hmm. How much you weigh? Uh, about 128. You're five foot nine, so that's cool. Yeah, five nine and a half. You got a really flat belly? Mm-hmm. Would you ever put like a, would you ever pierce your belly? Like do that belly button thing? Mm -hmm. I had to bleep you for a second. Okay, <laughs> you went a little far there, but. All right, so you would tongue, uh, your, your tongue, tongue, you would pierce your tongue or your private area? Yep. So you're pretty wild sexually, aren't you? I suppose so. You a stripper? Mm, I have before. Mm -hmm. Not you, right now. We're in a club. No. Uh. Uh. Where'd you strip? It was it was a private organization that they have like 
business meeting for men that come out of the country and they'll come here like a lot of Asian men was really popular for and they'd have it pre-set up with parties and stuff and they'd want to impress their friends different corporations and stuff so they'd set, send our business down see what's going on Robin with their business butter them up so in other words you would like go to like a private uh, like a convention. Like a co not a convention, but like a private room somewhere like in a hotel and dance for these guys? Yeah, it'd be a hotel, and they'd set it up like a, a dinner, and there'd be... So wait a second, like you go to a hotel, and like it's a, it's a regular hotel room? Uh-huh, a regular hotel. So how many, guys, how many guys would they stuff into the room? Uh, about 20. All right, so 20 guys in a room, and they would like eat some dinner, to try to make it seem like it was a meeting yeah, going banquet. on. Yeah, banquet. Right, uh -huh. Yeah. And then... And then all of a sudden, you'd come in, and... They have you, different girls. Some, like, they'll have uh, some girls strip separately, or they'll have some that do two girl shows. And, and what did you do? Shows. You did a two-girl show? Mm -hmm. oh. And what did the other girl look like? Um, she has red hair, and she's about 5'7". She's very, very slender, flat stomach, really cute. She has blue eyes. What cup? Mm, probably, I think she's a 34B. Mm. Lucky chinks. Boy, they got to see some show, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh... So, uh... <laughs> that's okay to say, right, Robin? No. <laughs> what do you call me? Asians. Asians. Yeah, uh, lucky Asians, huh? <laughs> so, uh... So you and the girl, like, knew each other pretty well? You had this whole act we've known each other. Yeah, we've known each other since high school. And what happens? You walk in in your clothes and you go to the bathroom to change? Mm hmm. Yes, exactly. And, and like the two of you walk out wearing what? Uh, we a robe and then we have lingerie on underneath. Like teddies and stuff? Mm hmm. Exactly. And then like the guys are like, oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> so they're all talking a language you don't even understand. Uh huh. And are they yeah, eating exactly. while you guys are putting on the show? Or they no, eating? usually it's after they eat. It's they're after dessert. they eat. Mm -hmm. And what do they do? They're all sitting around in like, like what are they wearing? Business suits and stuff? Yeah, business suits. Mm hmm. Yeah, Chinese guys really know how to relax, huh? Yeah, really. They're always in that work mode. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they have to wear a suit to watch a strip show. Yeah. They don't even take their ties off. They just sit there all straight up. Yeah, right. Right. They don't even mm -hmm. button the top tie, you know, and loosen mm -hmm. the tie. They just oh. sit there all choked up. We watch Nature Show at work. That's <laughs> it. We do a business meeting. Are they smoking? They love to smoke, those guys, don't uh -huh. they? Yeah, you know, the no. room's all smoky and everything. So you guys walk out. Do you talk at all, or do you just put on some music? No, they have music on. And it's different girls, like... Uh, and then you guys start kissing each other and stuff? Mm-hmm. And then mm -hmm. you go all the way with her? Yeah, and Whoa. we take each other's clothes off. Wow. Wow. We do a dance. We take a Is that on the floor, on a table, or what? It's up on a stage. Oh. They really? set up a little stage. It's a hell of a room. I want to know what hotel. <laughs> yeah, so I can big go. room. Don't say the hotel. I won't. Right. <laughs> what are you wearing right now? Right now, I'm wearing uh, my underwears and a little... Underwears? <laughs> yep. See, that's the one turn off. <laughs> and a t-shirt. I'm supposed to say underwear. The plural of underwear is underwear. Underwear. Maybe she's got on two pairs. Yeah, yeah maybe I do have Even underwear. if you had on nine pair, it's never underwear. It <laughs> could be underwear, yeah. no matter how many pairs. Doesn't it? I know that gets Jackie, too. Doesn't that get you? Like, I'm really into this girl, and she says, my underwears. That's, I mean, that's basic. I mean, that's basic grammar. I think she was joking around with No, her. she wasn't. <laughs> underwears. All right, let's, let's say she was, hey, please, don't let that break joke. the mood. Yeah. It was a joke. <laughs> Who needs her to be so smart? And maybe you are very intelligent. You're street smart, right? Now, did you ever have sex with these guys? No, no way. I wouldn't touch an Asian man. Oh, excuse me. Mm. <laughs> Girl after my own heart, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants those guys coming over here and taking our women? I don't know. All right. Can you be here in five minutes? In five minutes? No, I don't think so. It'll take me a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can wait. How much longer? <laughs> mm, I don't know. I'd have to check the next flight. Oh, you're in Los Angeles. That's mm -hmm. right. I didn't realize. Hey, so these Asian guys, would they, um, would they tip you big money, like hundreds and fifties? And yes, uh-huh. They were very generous guys. Very right? generous. And then the agency pays you that you work for besides that. What do you get for doing that? Uh, $75 an hour plus tip. So you could walk out of there with what, like a grand? Mm, it depends. Sometimes they'd have them like, it'd be an all-weekend function, and it'd be for really big... Uh, businessmen and they have a lot more money and you'd make m about that much and then the average is about well, I'd walk out probably 700 yeah for a night's work would you mm -hmm. let them touch 
No, no. They weren't allowed to touch you? No, they weren't allowed Did to. Did they take pictures with you? No, they can't take pictures either. That's another rule. That Telling an Asian guy you can't take pictures is like purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're really cute. I mean, mm -hmm. you ever do any acting work and stuff? No. No, I don't. Like I wouldn't. I just, I'm not like that. Do you go to the clubs and stuff and the guys are always like staring at you and wanting to date you? Mm, that does happen to me a lot. And yeah. you ever go to clubs and like with another girl and like you dance together and like tease all the guys? Mm-hmm. You do that, mm -hmm. don't you? I love to do that. You have wicked thoughts, don't you? Yep. I love to tease men that way. You good in bed? Uh-huh. Let me ask something. This is kind of out of line, but would you be willing to play my wife in a movie? No. Another Play one. your wife? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be signing a movie deal soon, and <laughs> I need someone to cast as my wife. <laughs> you, sound like a, you sound like just the person. Just the perfect person to play your wife. So what age did you start having sex? Uh, 13, 14. With other girls? Uh, with other girls, 16. Well, who, was, who got you at 13? Her dad. Oh, stop oh. it. <laughs> she, was coming, she was coming on to him. I was attacking my dad at 13. Who'd you get at 13? An older guy? Yeah, it was an older guy. How'd you meet him? He was a friend from school's friend. Cute guy? Yeah, he was very cute. He modeled. And at 13, you were fully developed? Mm, just about, yep. Mm. And how old was this older guy? He was like... 19. No, I think he was twenty, twenty-one. <laughs> Pervert. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name, Roman Polanski? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to... You know that guy's still in Paris? Like, there's a rule. You can't go after a guy who's been convicted of uh, sexually... You can't go get him in Paris. Yeah, like like yeah, like Paris is like a different... Pla <laughs> it's like another planet. You can't go get him and make him stay in trial for being with a 13-year-old. Because <laughs> I was reading an interview with him. He goes, why should I leave Paris? I'm having a great life. I'm making films and... Oh, he's a Polish guy. Roman Polanski. I don't know. He just... I've given him a French accent. He goes, well, you know what? 20 years from now, they'll be he'll be back in this country, and they'll be giving him an honorary Oscar. Yeah, right. That's so. Like, everything's okay. It's cool. <laughs> Time, enough time's passed. This girl's older now. Right, right. So, uh... So this guy was an older guy, huh? Mm-hmm. You ever get it on with two guys at the same time? No, once before, but I didn't really like it very much. Why? I like it better with two girls at the same time than two guys. Oh, you've had that? Mm-hmm. When did that happen to you? Oh, uh, I don't know, about three years ago. Where were you when that happened? Uh, I went to a club. You were dancing at a club? Uh-huh. What, what do you wear to my a club? My girlfriend. Where do you, so you look like Julia Roberts. You're about five foot nine. You got a C cup. You're about, what, 36, 24, 36? Mm-hmm. Really long legs? Mm-hmm, very long legs. And when you go to these clubs, what do you wear? As a matter of fact, I can put both my feet behind my neck like that girl that you have in that one video. Oh, yeah, you can do that? It spins around. Yeah, I can do that, too. I don't know why. When I was a little girl, my uncles would always tell me, Boy, you can do that. You should keep that. That's a good practice. Yeah. Now Uncle I see why. <laughs> Uncle Horny. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's, a good, that's a good thing for a girl to know how to do. <laughs> don't ever lose that. Hey, your husband will like that someday. <laughs> That puts you in a whole nother league. Oh, yeah. You would do that for your uncles? Would you be, like, undressed when you did that? No. No. <laughs> so what happened when you met these two girls? So you would go to clubs, like, by yourself, or would you go with friends? No, I was with my girlfriend at that time. When you say girlfriend, a girl you, you had sex with? Mm-hmm. And when you go to the clubs, do you, you really dress up? Yeah, I was wearing that night. I even remember what I was wearing, a black uh, cat suit that has long sleeves. Oh, pants? Mm-hmm, pants. No underpants or bra? No, because then you have lines showing through. Right. That's what I figured. I figured that, Robin. Good for you. I was just wondering now, you say you've had, you've had relationships with girls and you're bisexual. Would you say, what percentage bisexual would you say you are? Do you prefer me, Robin, Robin. women to men? Are you Kinsey? I'm in the, I'm yes, in the cat I suit. I'm at the club. I am doing a survey. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in the club now with the cat suit. Give me a chance here. I'm interested sociologically. All right, 37%. You happy? <laughs> right, come here. Yeah, what percentage? Give Robin a percentage so we can get back mm -hmm. to the cat suit. Probably, I prefer women, but on the average... Robin, can't, can't she fill out the forms later? <laughs> <laughs> no, before she can get treatment, the forms are... All right, go ahead. What is it? I prefer women, but on the average, I'm with men more. Would you say 57% more toward women? Yes. Okay. All right. All right, very Thank good. All right, good. I'm glad we got that out of you. That helped. <laughs> Did that help you, Robin? Yes. Good.
<laughs> you need what you need. I need what. Can I you need. give us a percentage on farm animals? How much you like farm them? Farm animals would uh, be about twenty-three. Uh, Probably. Okay. It was a nagging question. <laughs> you really had to know that. I don't believe this. In the middle of a great lesbian story, we're about to get it on with two girls, and you want to know percentages. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> All right, so let me let me get this straight. Let me just see if I can get back in this. <laughs> let me just move my chair closer to this piece of wood. Uh, okay. oh. <laughs> so you go in this cat suit and it's really tight and it shows off your body. Mm-hmm. And what happens? You go to the club and you like you and your girlfriend are dancing and everyone's staring at you because you're two really good looking girls. Yeah, that's what usually happens. And I don't know for some reason this night usually girls will talk to us. And, I don't know, we've debated it, but we hadn't really done that before then. And this night we kind of had a little bit to drink. And you were thinking about bringing home other girls. Mm-hmm. And we've kind of been talking about it and stuff. So what happens? Like, you, you spotted some really good-looking girl at the club? Actually, she came up to us. A few different girls came up to us and talked to us, but this one was extremely good-looking. What did she look like? She was she was almost as tall as I am. Mm -hmm. She had a, probably about the same size cup, too. C cup. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, she had blue eyes and brown hair. She was really tan. She was really what was she wearing? Like a little mini dress? Yes, yeah, she was. She was wearing a mini skirt. It was black with white polka dots. But no underpants? Mm, I don't, no, she didn't have underpants on. She that. didn't? No, just, she didn't. Just, just a mini skirt and like real high heels? And high heels, uh-huh. Boy, you got this down. <laughs> I've been through it a lot. <laughs> I'm a professional. I'm a professional pervert. Now, would you say when you go out, most of the time, do you not wear underpants? What what percentage? <laughs> I need another percentage. She's filling out a form over there. She's like Kenzie. What percentage of times that you go out, do you wear underwear? It depends on what I'm wearing. All right, let me get this straight. So so then you say to this girl, hey, you want to come back? Like, you start dancing with her on the floor? Mm-hmm. And, like, is it getting suggestive? Yes, very are much putting, so. Are you putting her, your arms around her and stuff? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, how's that work? Like, like you were you're touching each other and stuff? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're touching each other, touching her rear, her you were, you, were, you, were grabbing, you, were, you were grabbing her rear on the dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say you two were dirty dancing? Oh, I guess so. Was this a lesbian club? Um, Actually, it does have a lot of gay people there, but it's a mixture. It's like a bondage club. So you and your girlfriend said, hey, and are the three of you all dancing together? Mm hmm three of us were dancing together. Oh, that weakens me. <laughs> And then, and then, what do you do? You say to her, "Hey, come on, come back to my house." Well, we ended up talking and dancing more and hanging out for a while. And then afterwards, we asked her if she wanted to go somewhere and get something to eat, and we ate. And then we came back to our my house. And like at this point, there was a lot of sexual tension. You guys knew you were going to all get it on. Mm, pretty much so, yes. But, I mean, there was a little bit of mystery, but not much. Mm-hmm. So then you walk in the house, and then like, what happens? Like, how do you get into it? Like, you, you all sit down on the couch and start drinking some more. No, as a matter of fact, when we came inside, um, I went into the other room to get something from the other room, and I came out, and my girlfriend was kind of kissing her and really touching her and stuff. She was and kissing her already. They were already uh -huh. getting up, but they were still with their clothes on. Right, but they still had their clothes on and everything. And when you walked out, were you naked? No, uh -uh. I just went into the room for a second. I did, was and then what did you say? Hey, what's going on here? No, I jumped in. You just started kissing everyone? Uh-huh. And then you took off each other's clothes? Yes. How long did that session last? <laughs> Um, what do you mean, the whole thing? Yeah. Or until I got her clothes off. How long did it take you to get her clothes off? Get her clothes off, probably not very long, like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. But girls take their time, huh? Yeah, that seems like, that seems like an eternity like to me. Word. The clothes would be off in two seconds. <laughs> I'd been undressed in the car. I would, yeah, right. I would be gone the car home already. <laughs> 20 minutes. All right, I got to go now. Would have been done two times, 20 minutes. See ya. See ya. <laughs> I'll call you. So, 20 minutes, like the clothes came off, and, and then, like, how long did the whole session go? Probably about an hour and a half. Mm. It was great? Mm hmm, very good. Did you guys see each other more after that, or just. That yes, we did, but she moved away to another state. Yeah. Why would you move away? I don't know why she moved away. Got a well, video why of that? She's working now. Because she's busy. You got any video of these uh, encounters? Video? No, I don't let myself be videotaped. Why don't you come down to the studio sometime? Put you on dial a date. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll put you on lesbian dating game. I definitely would go for that. Are you smoking? What? You smoking a cigarette? No, I don't smoke. 
Are you very oral? Yes, very much so. Hmm. Got long hair? No. I actually, I did. It's funny that you say that because I did two weeks ago, but I just cut it shorter. You ever licked it? It was to my butt two weeks ago, but I just cut it. You have hair on your butt? No. You ever, you ever let guys spank you? Yes. You ever let them tie you up? Yes. To the bed? Mm-hmm. And they do whatever they want? Mm, pretty much so. It depends on the guy. I'm done with my questions. Anybody got any more questions? <laughs> Start over. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the... Let's do it all over again. Start and you're available uh, sexually every way? Every way. Three input women. All right. Every available entrance. Good for you. <laughs> could you... You get any pictures of yourself? Pictures of myself? Yeah. Mm, I could probably dig some up somewhere. Okay. Oh, you got any sisters? sisters. Oh. Actually, I have one, but she doesn't look like me. She has a different dad. Yeah. Your dad <laughs> killed himself, I guess? <laughs> what? I say your dad killed himself. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, boy. In the middle of his call. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I don't know what to do with you. I mean, how am I going to get you here? Right, when are you coming to New York? Mm, probably not very soon. I mm. work a lot. Right, well, what do you do now? Uh, right she's, now. A, uh, she's a consultant for IBM. <laughs> yeah, I'm a consultant for IBM. That's what I'm no, doing. No, come on. What do you do? Actually, I'm going to school right now. And I want to teach kids. Oh, stop. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. What do you want I to do? I want to be a criminal lawyer. Good. Oh. And for right now, I'm working at this fine dining restaurant. I do the books there. I take care of the books. Very good. Well, you seem very trustworthy. All right, listen, um, thank you for the call. And if you're ever in New York, let me know. I'll put Gary. Gary will put you on hold and um, see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, Good luck with your law career. You know, lawyers can afford good underwears. Oh, definitely. <laughs> very good. Hold on. Okay. Do you have any underwears you could buy if you were a, yeah, a good, good lawyer? lawyer? Yeah, a really good attorney. Forget about it. Dominic Barber has like 50 pair of underwears. <laughs> So to get it, make one he doesn't pair. have to do laundry for months. <laughs> right. Okay, why don't we take a break, Robin? Then we should listen to either Gorilla or Stuttering John, and then we should do some news, and then that'll be it. All right. All right, we have our agenda clear.